What is up, YouTube? My name's Will, and you're watching Northwest Aqua Hobby. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full fish room tour and update. And guys, I gotta give a real quick shout out to all of you. I have just passed 446 subscribers, which is incredible. When I started this channel, I really just did it, you know, just for my own personal enjoyment. I know it's nothing compared to all those other channels out there, but I never in a million years thought that I would be at 446 subscribers. So thank you for each and every one of you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and join the team. Um, I appreciate all of you and just wanted to give you a quick shout out. Also a quick shout out to anyone that used to own a Nintendo 64. Uh, back in the early 2000s, this was the shit, guys. And Zelda, Ocarina of Time, hands down my favorite game of all time. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video, guys. So here is the fish room. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with the channel, or new to the channel, rather, I do have four tanks currently set up. I have a 29 gallon paludarium. I have a 10 gallon uh, planted tank. I've got a 20 gallon long, which is ho currently housing an electric blue Acara. And then most recently I set up this 4.5 gallon cube. And over here is where I do all of my video editing. This is my current workstation. If you're new to the channel, this desk here, um, I did cover this in a previous video. I handmade this myself. This piece of plywood is actually from 19, the 1960s. My grandpa owned, or was part of a boat building company and he gave me this piece of um, plywood, which is high quality marine grade stuff. And I made this desk and this is where I edit all my videos from. I absolutely love it. I've got all these tanks just to give me inspiration as I'm creating content for you guys. As I just mentioned, this is my most recent setup. This here is a 4.5 gallon cube. Currently, I don't have any livestock in it, but I do intend to use this tank for old um, elderly fish that are kind of on their way out. You know, they're not doing too well anymore. Um, so this is where I'm going to put those fish. It'll be a perfect place for them. They won't get picked on or anything like that. Recently, I did move my uh, pothos from the paludarium over here. I planted it in some soil and I just have it growing adjacent to this tank. This tank is pretty simple. I've just got a bunch of java moss. I have an Amazon sword. I got some floating plants in the very back. I have a little bit of Ludwigia. I believe this is palestris. Um, so it's a pretty simple tank. I don't have a filter or anything like that. I am currently battling a massive um, surface scum or biofilm and that's no problem. I'll take care of that, but it's just kind of some of the trials and tribulations that you have with setting up a brand new no-tech planted tank. I'm sure other fish tubers can relate to this. I have tons of recording gear just kind of spewed throughout this room. There's my uh, tripod. Down in here, I have a ring light and various different attachments and such. Um, obviously, I got my editing station, my iPad Pro. A lot of people are probably surprised that I don't even own a computer anymore. This is where I do all of my video editing. I do have a keyboard and a mouth, mouth, mouse. Both of these are Bluetooth, so they're cordless and they hook directly up to the iPad. Um, let's go ahead and go into the next tank, guys. Here I have a 29 gallon paludarium. And for those of you that don't know what a paludarium, paludarium essentially is a, an aquarium that has low water level and it combines both aquatic organisms as well as immersed grown organisms. So in this case, if we open up the lid, I do have driftwood, I got rocks, substrate, and I do have some fish in here. They're, these fish in particular are rummy nose tetras. They're currently all hiding because I opened the tank, probably under that cave. But they are an awesome um, breed of fish. So if you're looking for small schooling fish, definitely give them a look. In this tank, I have uh, 
Java fern growing all over in the submerged, submerged areas. I have a ton of driftwood scattered about. These are actually river stones that I hand collected myself. And then immersed, I do have a lot of Anubias and Anubias just absolutely loves growing immersed. I set this up one week ago and look at all the new growth that's coming in in the Anubias. Right here, I got a new leaf. That's a new leaf. This leaf popped out about two days after I lowered the water level. New leaf, new leaf. I mean, they're just taking off. Also in this tank, I have a bunch of snails. I put those in there on purpose. They're helping to keep my algae at bay. As far as uh, you know, equipment in this tank, I have no filter. I'm just running a heater, obviously a high quality LED plant light, and I have two air stones to provide a lot of surface agitation and gas exchange into the water column. Guess we'll go ahead and move on to the next tank and we'll move over to this racking system here. This has gone through a bunch of different iterations. We'll start on the top shelf. I have uh, all my equipment. I have my fertilizers. I have some spare sponge filters, all my fish food, water testing equipment. Then moving on down to the next tank, this is my 20 gallon long. And this currently houses just one electric blue Acara. This tank is incredibly simple. This has got to be the easiest, lowest maintenance tank that I've ever set up. 20 gallon long, glass lid, a high quality LED plant light. I have a small uh, hang on the back filter over here, sponge filter, and a circulation pump. What happens is, you know, obviously the fish is going to produce some waste. That's going to drop into the water column. This circulation pump is going to push all of that this way. It's going to go hit you know in here somewhere and then it's going to get bounced up into the water column sucked up into the hang on the back filter and upon which it's going to get taken out of the system and you're not going to have to deal with it since this has been set up i have not had to do any vacuuming any water changes whatsoever the reason why i haven't had to do any water changes is because i have golden pothos on the back of the tank and this is just sucking out an insane amount of nitrates and guys, the electric blue Acara is an incredible fish. This guy's like a flower horn. I mean, as far as like being interactive with, with you, the fish keeper, he's incredible. Watch this. If I take the food out, look at him. Look how excited he gets immediately. Oh, you hungry boy? All right, let's go ahead and give you some food. For him, he just gets one nice good size pinch. I put it back over here into the... Uh, hang on the back filter which disperses it into the water column and he immediately just starts to hunt around for that food he's incredibly healthy i haven't had a single problem with him i mean knock on wood right but um so far so good i've had him for about two and a half years now and he's growing like crazy healthy eats really well all right, I think we'll move on to my 10 gallon tank. And this one right now is kind of just a storage tank, if you will. I've got some zebra danios in here. I also have a bunch of white cloud mountain minnows. And I do have one Siamese algae eater. You can see him back here. He is too big for this tank. I completely admit that. Um, I took him out of this tank because Blue, being a cichlid, he was getting a little bit aggressive towards my Siamese algae eater. So I had to move him into a safer location for the time being. I think what I'm gonna do is put a piece of PVC pipe kind of tucked back in the corner so you don't have to see it. He really likes to have a hiding place. So if I have a PVC, t PVC pipe in that 20 gallon tank, then he'll have a place to hide and be out of sight from blue, my electric blue Acara. And back to this tank. For lighting in here, I do have another high quality uh, LED plant light. In fact, all of these lights, including my uh, little cube back here, are Fluval brand, and I would highly recommend them. You can control all of them from your cell phone, so you don't have to press any buttons, you don't have to do anything. You can even use a smart app to control the day length and photo intensity, color spectrum, all that kind of stuff is customizable through that app. This tank also has a glass lid like all of my other tanks with the exception of the cube. 
And then I do have a heater in here, no filter once again. And the reason why I don't have a filter in this is because I'm growing a lot of floating plants and those are doing a lot of work for me, sucking nitrates out of the water column. This tank is actually a dirted tank and I have a bunch of Vallisneria growing throughout the tank. Ultimately, my goal is to have that Vallisneria completely overtake this tank and just turn it into a jungle. But if I end up um, keeping him in here, which I don't intend to do, that whole plan might get screwed up because he is digging this hole back here and eventually he's gonna reach all that soil substrate and kick that up into the water column, at which point I'm gonna have to probably just take this all apart and redo the scape. So I'm gonna try and get him back into the 20 gallon tank before that happens. Moving on down to the last shelf, I just have some of my equipment. I did recently realize that I do not wanna have a tank down here because for those of you that don't know, I am a tall guy. I'm actually just shy of six foot seven. So having a tank down here just off the floor is like killer for my back. So no tanks down here anymore. I'm just keeping my buckets and I think I have some uh, fish nets down here as well. Just some supplies and that's all I'm gonna be keeping on this shelf. All right, guys, that's all I had for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why don't you give it a huge thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of my future content.